Hey guys, what's up? I'm um, gonna review Thor for you guys today. Um, Thor is a Marvel superhero movie based on the title character Thor, which is portrayed brilliantly by Chris Hemsworth. I'll go into the his performance later on. Um, okay, so Thor is a Marvel superhero movie about um, Thor, obviously, uh, the son of Odin. Um, he like quite arrogant and you know stuff like that and um his father banishes him out of asgard is where like he lives uh it's visually amazing asgard um the visuals are brilliant the um the story's pretty good i mean it goes a bit it goes a bit into it a little bit too fast but in my opinion it's a pretty good story um you know for what it is directed brilliantly by kenneth brenner really really good job with the directing the cinematography the script got a few one-liners pretty funny lines um natalie portman's in it so you also get the added bonus of her <laughs> and um <coughs> uh stern scars guards in it um the girl from big mama's house too <laughs> um you know you got anthony hopkins um stuff like that right now my special mention <coughs> excuse me um, is for Chris Hemsworth. Um, his performance in this is absolutely brilliant. Uh, this is like his first like proper movie, I do believe. Um, he's one to look out for because um, he was seriously amazing in this movie. Um, he was he was so well perfectly cast. Um, I don't think you could get a better for um, the hair, the muscles, the big like physique, the armor fitted him, the hammer. It just I saw pictures of the Thor, um, he's the perfect Thor, and he did a really good performance, you know, um, he just, he, he was really, really good as Thor, um, so that's a special m mention for Chris Hemsworth, very, very, very good, I think he's the best in this movie, um, you know, I think he's even better than, you know, Sir ha Anthony Hopkins, and that's saying a lot, because he's a legend, um, if I have to rate Thor out of 10, I guess I'd rate it about an 8 out of 10, because um, there had some parts missing, I mean, um, you know, the story went in a little bit too um, early, it was, like, it's kind of weird, because um, they used a lot, a lot of green screen, a bit like 300, um, a lot of, you know, I love 300, and I, I really like this movie too, but the amount of green screen they use, it's... It's almost like it shows they're using so much green screen. I know it's a big Marvel, um, you know, superhero slash Iron Man type, you know, big high budget movie. But if you want to make it really like 10 out of 10, don't use as much green screen because it kind of like shows. Um, this is my my main fault about this movie was um, when they went to like the normal land, uh, New Mexico, um, in Earth. Um, <coughs> There was like hardly any visuals, only when they like attack, only when he has a fight with this monster. Um, but when they go to Asgard, there's so much like green screen visuals, it, over, it almost overdoes it with visuals and green screen. But when it goes to the um, New Mexico, it's like just normal, which is kind of a fault really, because if they want to make a movie, just make it in one atmosphere, not like one complete visual screen screen oh, we're going to make so much um, computer generation into this. But Asgard is absolutely breathtaking. It's absolutely amazing. I know they didn't use all green screen for it, but quite a lot of, like, the sky and the water and some of the visual effects. But inside, like, the buildings and all that, it's absolutely amazing. That is just such a brilliant, well, like, crafted and sculptured um, buildings. It's absolutely brilliant in that way. But, you know, if you, if you consider, like, the, the sea, um, sky... You know, some of the um, other visuals, it, it does use a lot of green screen. Um, but performances are great. It's got great cinematography, great directing, uh, great script, great one-liners, pretty funny. Uh, I haven't... That's the only main fault I've just described is the two Earth and Asgard being kind of different. That's my only fault, really. So I rate this movie an out of 10. I definitely recommend you watching it. Um, I also saw this in 3D, not in 2D. Um, do not watch this in 3D. I don't really think there's much point, uh, to be honest, because, you know, if you, if you, um, it's kind of, like, too good to be in 3D. 
Like, um, it, some of it would look absolutely great in 3D. I, I, I can't really say because I haven't seen it, but I can kind of tell. It's one to watch in 2D um, because, okay, some of it would look great in 3D, but I think, you know, and most critics have said, watch this in 2D. Um, yeah, but this was my review of Thor. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later, guys.